All right, guys, we're going to we're gonna do basically a follow along. It's not gonna be much of a tutorial. Um, I suppose it is, but I rather than you guys wait for all the um, tutorials to come out, I give you something you can feed off of to try and make some of your own parts and add-ons and mods so we're gonna kind of jump from the first tutorial to uh, well we're gonna use what we learned in the first tutorial uh, we're gonna use our base folder um, and the the Peterbilt 579 is the truck I'm gonna use you can use whatever you want um, but that's what we're gonna do here alright so we're gonna start by making a new folder you can call this whatever you want. I'm going to call this uh, my mod, if I can spell correctly. All right. Now, inside this my mod folder, we want to make a new folder, and we're going to call this one vehicle. Inside vehicle, we're going to make a new folder called truck. Inside truck. We're going to make another one called Upgrade. And then inside Upgrade, we're going to make a new folder called Bumper. Okay. And inside Bumper, we're going to make a new folder. And we're going to call this one Peterbilt underscore 579. We can go back to our root in our mod folder here. We're going to add a new folder, call it Death inside this def we're gonna make a folder called vehicle inside vehicle we're gonna make another folder called truck okay and inside the truck folder we're gonna make another folder called peterbilt dot five seven nine and inside that peterbilt folder we're gonna make another one called accessory and inside this accessory folder we'll make another one and we're going to call this one bumper now we can open this and leave this open here for a minute I'm going to show you this folder structure that we just created we're going to need uh, a file here for you guys to make it easier we're going to go into our American Truck Simulator and our base folder we're going to go into our def file and as you can see up here def vehicle truck Peterbilt dot five seven nine accessory bumper. Well, we're over here, and we're def vehicle truck Peterbilt dot five seven nine accessory bumper. Okay, we're gonna grab one of these. We're gonna copy it and paste it over here into ours. We can close this window now. We can name this now, and it should be something unique and all lowercase. Um, I'm gonna call it my my shape alright now you want to name this so it doesn't conflict with another mod or uh, uh, maybe a, a bumper that comes out down the road right so um, make that unique okay now we can go back here to our root folders and because um, we will deal with that other file after actually no we're gonna go back in here and you're gonna open this my shape up we're gonna change this shape 01 right now before we forget we're gonna change it to my shape okay same as your your file name that'll help you uh, along the way uh, if errors occur you'll have uh, if this was called shape 2 and this is my shape and it has a null pointer to shape 2 well then um, you're gonna be hunting through all the files to find the correlation between shape 2 and my shape so we'll keep them the same and we can also right now we'll change our name we'll just uh, make ours we'll call it ugly bumper it's not gonna be worth 50 but we'll make it 50 and this will make a to do we'll do this here in a little bit and I might end up doing a part icon tutorial uh, it's a little more um, 
little more time to set up than the mod icon so uh, we'll leave this for now we may come back to that so we can save this and close or minimize for now now we can go back to our root folder in our, our mod folder here we're gonna create a new text document we're gonna call that manifest and we're gonna change the extension to dot sci click yes we're gonna add another new text document we're gonna call this one mod underscore credits dot text okay we're gonna go into our manifest and we're gonna add a few things here now this is some of the important stuff for this file to work correctly so okay so mod package this dot package name and then we got to put another set of curly brackets here so in between these sets of brackets is where we're going to be entering some information so we want a package version and this can be anything you want it can be v1.0 or my mod version 1.0 okay uh, the display name this is uh, what shows in the mod manager so uh, we'll do that and the author obviously the author is going to be you and our category this array is uh, a loaded default from the game so uh, I've never thrown an error by having a wrong uh, name in here, but uh, some of them are truck, for instance, uh, uh, interior, um, trailer. But we're going to do a part. So we're going to do parts tuning. Okay. Now our icon, we're going to set our icon to be to do as well we're going to take care of that right away and our description file that is going to be our uh, mod credits dot txt file that we had just made here alright so we can go ahead and save that we're pretty much done with this uh, we're going to uh, jump into doing the icon for the mod so there's uh well, i'm going to use paint.net and there's a few different ways you can do this um one we can open an image uh or a screenshot for example okay and uh we'll take this and what we'll do with this is we'll resize it to 276 by 162 and we can go ahead and just save this into our root directory of our mod folder. Mine's on the desktop. And we're going to change it to a JPEG. And I'm going to name mine uh, mod icon. Okay. We'll save this. So I've got my icon for my mod. Now, you could create one. It The dimensions have to be the same. You know, you could, uh, you know, fill this with colors and... Uh, writing and whatnot too right so but we'll leave that the way it is for now and we'll go back into our manifest now and under our icon we're going to change this to mod icon dot jpeg okay save that we can close this we're done with that so now we can jump into our z modeler and we're going to load a bumper file from the 579 and we will go to libraries documents american truck sim the base folder that we uh, extracted vehicle truck upgrade and bumper p 
Peterbilt 579 and as you start uh, extracting the rest of the trucks there will be more in here um, now I'm gonna pick bumper 3 you can pick whichever one you want make sure your base is pointing to your base folder and your mod is uh, mod folder here is pointing to your mod folder that we created click OK you can go ahead and import that all right first thing this root node we have to change this name so I'm gonna name this my bumper or ugly bumper okay we got ugly bumper here so after we name rename that so we don't have issues with uh, clashing with other mods and uh, we're going to go up here to material browser and we're going to find this shadow only toggle that off and we got a nice clean model to work with now i'm just going to uh, do something real quick here maybe a couple couple spikes for some pedestrians let's uh, let's redo this one there we go so I just I put a capsule there a primitive we're gonna go to the front I'm gonna get rid of the bumper I'm going to right click drag to select my capsule I'm gonna show my bumper and I'm gonna and before I do that I'm gonna restrict this to my x-axis I'm gonna make this a little longer that looks good now rather than clicking none to de deselect this and then reclicking your selection button just hold control and select and you can deselect all your objects at the same time so now I'm gonna get rid of my uh, I thought I renamed this we will change that because I undid a few things okay so we're gonna get rid of that I'm gonna now go to the back view and I'm gonna add a few spikes we'll just use a cone for that Ooh, those are pretty long okay now my top view and now I did make a mistake on purpose here and you guys probably won't spot it until we're part way through here but there's a reason for it and I want to show you the way this world pivot works so we'll drop these down so they look like they're mating into this main bar we created I'm gonna go up here to create copy and I'm gonna copy this cone twice I'm going to deselect two of them and go to my move tool X axis and we'll drag this and at the bottom of the screen you'll see a distance float box and I've moved this roughly 4.7.47 sorry so we'll hit tab as we're holding the drag and oh look at that 0 0.47 okay and we'll add one more cone to the scene by uh, checking it here and we will move it click tab 0 0.47 okay we'll add this last cone and we'll go up to the top here we'll attach these now if I attach this cone to this um, capsule it becomes all the capsule if I attach the capsule to the cone it becomes a cone so just be wary of that in naming okay so I'm gonna rename this anyways um, to spike so we got one object here now and we're gonna open this up and we're gonna drag and drop this into the default part now here's where the mistake comes in I added my spikes on the wrong side so what we're gonna do to crack that is roll this this bar we want it to ultimately roll on its axis here so I'm gonna use this world pivot and you will put that world pivot wherever if you lose sight of it you can always go up here to pivot reset to origin so we'll even leave this here and you'll watch that 
it'll roll around on the x-axis around that pivot and we don't want that you know I can move this here and it'll it'll make it a, a tighter arc so what I want is to toggle this pivot off here and then we're gonna go back and redo this we're gonna roll this and it's gonna roll oh I uh, I made a mistake here guys give me two seconds okay I'm gonna drop this again I, uh, I didn't toggle this off now those default parts this is the hook this is what determines uh, if this gets moved your bumper your whole project could be askew when you attach it to the truck so um, and I know what I, I did here when I did my attachment that's I was gonna mention that um, so we're gonna go back a step or two here okay um, I'm gonna get rid of this bumper so we're back at where we were attaching this so you want this to be the main main part right this is the bar that holds everything so we're going to attach everything to this piece okay now what happens is your your uh, axis for this object becomes attached here so we'll go ahead now and we'll drop this back into our default part I'm going to rename this back. Okay. And we're going to get back to rotating this. I already showed you the world pivot, how it rotates it. Well, we'll pivot this off and we'll re rotate this now. Okay. And it'll now rotate on just its center axis. Okay. And that's what we want. And we can do the same as the move tool. We can tab, hit the tab button as we move brings up an input box I want to move this 180 degrees and there we go okay so now I want to use the texture that's on this so we're gonna go to properties first we have to isolate this so you're gonna select this and isolate it whatever you want to use the texture from um, we will get more into materials and textures, um, but for now I'm going to use one that's already off of this bumper. So we're going to isolate that part. We're going to go to the properties page and we're going to scroll down to polygons and open that up. And there's a material. There's 7.2. D6.3 is the material that this part is using. So we'd like to assign that there. Uh, before we do, we can go into the material browser and we can see that uh, material here and we can open the material properties and see which textures are assigned to which UV channels and which uh, textures are actually assigned to it and we can also go to the textures browser and find the the textures that were used in that material to kind of identify what what uh, what channel you want to map to and so we're going to um, isolate this and I'm going to make this a little bit smaller here and we're going to make sure we're on isolation mode and we're going to go to the material for our spike and I'm going to set it to the same thing as that bumper 03 and you can see it changed right away in the, the 3D viewport okay I'm going to go up to surface here rather edit UV and click on your part now we're gonna generate new make sure you're on UV channel map 1 and uh, from the viewport now that means if you're looking at it from the left side this is how it'll be transferred into the UV mapper so we'll click OK we'll open our UV mapper here we'll go bring our material in and if you can't see your material properly click this background and this texture alpha here all right now this is one object when you import this it separates them so 
we can move this and and that's good because I I want to separate these if you don't you leave it where it is you select them all and, and move them all as an object this world pivot here works the same as it does on uh, the other viewports except for the fact it can't be toggled off so there's no axis around the 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 part itself doesn't have an axis anymore so we're gonna rotate this on the W which is the Y and we're gonna rotate it and 90 degrees because I want to use it on that grating alright we'll get it down here and we'll bring this pivot point with us because we're going to need it to make our our lives a little bit easier. So I'm going to actually not make that that big because I want you to see this other screen here. So the holes are really big and funny looking. You could leave it like that if you like, but I don't like it like that. So I'm going to, first of all, stretch it out a little bit more. I'll move it down. And then we're going to scale it again in the X direction. We'll make it a little bit fatter. And as you can see in the 3D viewport, the holes got a whole lot smaller. It looks a lot better. Okay, you're not modifying the object, you're modifying the, the texture being placed on the object. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to select all three of these. And I can drag these all in one shot and I want them all mapped the same so I'm just gonna drop them all here and we will control deselect those my bad we're gonna drag this one by one and you can keep doing this with a multiple pile of parts so it makes things a little faster so we're done with the UV mapper we're actually done with the we can uh, unisolate this and uh, we're gonna have because it's a fresh bumper and hasn't been corrected yet we're gonna have one little thing come up here we can go now and export so we're gonna go to our desktop or wherever your mod is this is my mod folder we're gonna go into vehicle truck upgrade bumper Peterbilt 579 and we're going to um, name this the same as our root node over there mine is ugly bumper okay and make sure your mod folder is pointing to your mod on the desktop or wherever you have it uh, stored and your base is correct and we'll click export you'll notice a warning here now a lot of SES models have these warnings uh, the Kenworth has five or six of them on export we there's no issues uh, Z modeler corrects it on export and and it works fine in game but we can correct that so it don't happen again and what we're gonna do is the read this default part O2 it requires two UV channels so we're gonna go over to default part O2 and we're gonna isolate that and go up to our properties window and we're gonna go down to the vertices uh, tab here and we're gonna open that up open the format and at the bottom there's UV channels and we're gonna select that to two we're gonna click apply now I'm going to clear this so we can see. I'm not going to do nothing else but export. And we'll just click this and export over top. We'll re overwrite and no more error. Alright. So now we have one thing left to do. I have it open but we will go this way so everybody can see the def, vehicle, truck, Peterbilt, accessory, bumper, my shape this is your defining file of your model that we just created and I called mine ugly bumper so we're gonna put that right here alright save that close it and we're done we can pack this up so we're gonna select all of this and we're gonna right click we're gonna add to archive we're gonna make sure our format is zip and our compression is set to store and we can name this anything you want um, any name dot SCS or dot zip click OK and here it is so now I'm going to open my mod folder in American Truck Simulator I would assume most of you know how to do that 
and I'm going to drag and drop this right here okay now we will see if it works best mod ever okay so we'll activate this and we'll go to the info and we'll see that this part here is the manifest that we set up and we didn't do the description file and we will do that so that you guys can see but uh, basically that mod dot, uh, underscore credits dot text anything you write in there will be printed here okay so we'll go in and see this bumper see if it works rather bumper and there's our ugly bumper look at that no more pedestrians in the way anyways um, this mod icon is the the one I was talking about that we'll get to and, and to make it look proper and everything you need alpha channels and get the right mix otherwise uh, this bumper standard here ends up coming out like this when you meant it to come out like this uh, nice white looking bumper right it, the the shading all ends up uh, all messed up and whatnot so we will uh, take care of some of that stuff in another another tutorial but one thing I'm kinda glad I forgot to do that mod credits because what we can do now is go to profiles we don't need to exit the game okay uh, we might actually for the mod manager to load model files and stuff normally we don't so uh, we'll alt tab out of this okay and we're gonna go to our mod folder here and we're gonna go to our mod credits and we're gonna finish this okay so there's all my info that's how cool my mod is we're gonna save this now what we can do is go to our uh, mod folder in American Truck Simulator. We're going to select our mod we just made. We're going to open that up. Okay. Now we're going to go, um, well, what you can do is just this. You can select all these, drag and drop them. Make sure your compression, compression is set to store. Click OK and it's done. Now we'll see if this actually reloads in the mod manager itself. I doubt it will. Um, it did. Okay, so there's the description. Alright, and then that's how you guys can get around not in and out and in and out and in and out of the game. If you need to move your bumper up or your fender down a little bit, you just go to the profile, alt tab out of the game, Go do your adjustment, repack the mod, and then go back in, and uh, you you'll be able to see your your modification. So, all right, that's it for this one.